on the British Leyland bus, the brake system is run off of a, a full hydraulic pressure system, which is run off of the transmission with V belts. This bus has had the uh, Allison transmission installed and the English transmission removed, so they lost their brake pump. We're converting the, the bus to an air over hydraulic system. The new Cummins diesel already has an air compressor on it. So we're going to add an air hydraulic brake system. This will be the parking brake valve to work our spring, spring assisted parking brake uh, hydraulic cylinders. So we're going to mount the dash valve here. For the parking brake. We'll go there. We're going to mount our air pressure gauge. This is a dual air pressure gauge because we're having two air tanks that are separated in case of an air failure we still have a backup air brake system so that will go here in the driver's view this is the likely spot here we have to fabricate a new bracket to uh, hang it on the dashboard and we're removing the original hydraulic brake pedal system and we'll be uh, cutting a hole in the floorboard and mounting this complete air brake pedal assembly. So the uh, our air hydraulic system is run off a brake pedal air valve which receives air in from the tanks and then when you step on the pedal it delivers air pressure to our air hydraulic assemblies. So it's straight air right to the air hydraulic uh, assemblies. What is that behind the pedal? The original brake pedal is strictly a hydraulic valve, but now that the uh, original transmission has been removed, there is no hydraulic pressure for it to use. So that's why we're going to the air system. This is the air valve that will operate the air hydraulic boosters. They will have a spring brake uh, as a backup. In case you lose air pressure, the spring will apply the brakes on the bus through this. Uh, to the air brake valve. It'll automatically, it'll automatically pop out and set the parking brake if the system were to lose its air pressure.